More than 140,000 Americans have died from COVID-19, and behind each and every one of those numbers is a family coping with the sudden loss of a loved one. And tonight, we really want to put a face on this devastating virus as we remember the lives lost to coronavirus. Here is Savannah Levins. My father, Gus Gomez, was a frontliner who contracted COVID-19 while caring for his patients. My father, John Bolton. I'm the oldest daughter of Colonel Samuel Fuoco. My father, John Walter, who passed away on May 10th of this year from coronavirus. My uncle Ronald and my cousin Daniel, they were father and son. They both passed away from COVID-19 on the same day. Despite his high-risk status as an older healthcare professional, he continued to report to work and expose himself to help others with mental illness. Dad was always a giving man, always a selfless man. He was also a self-proclaimed comedian with some very interesting dance moves. Although my father was a man of few words, he led by example. Each evening he would say, good night kiddo, keep the faith. I only wish I'd been able to be there and say it to him while holding his hand in the final hours. He was our hero, for he built and lived his life for his family, for his faith in God and country until the very end. He touched everyone's hearts. He made everyone feel special. He was very devoted to his family and loved to give kiss and hugs. And he would be greatly missed by his loving family and friends. My dad loved to travel. He loved sports. Love to laugh at silly things. We haven't been able to have a wake or a funeral or a true celebration of my father's life, but we will someday when we get back to normal. Dad, I love you. Mom loves you. Barbie loves you. Janine loves you. We all love you. You have changed this world and made it a better place. I have hope that things will get better. We think of you and we smile. So please, rest now. We miss you, Dad. By the way, we have posted support group information for people who have lost loved ones because of the coronavirus. And you can find that story on the 11 Alive app under the Scene on TV section.